Today, Trump outlined how he would approach foreign policy matters as president, national security matters, uh, specifically focusing on the Islamic State, tightening American security at the borders, including with uh, tighter immigration controls, uh, less entangling efforts, uh, long-term efforts toward um, building nations in places like Iraq and Afghanistan, and more aggressive uh, use of U.S. force for the specific goal of, of targeting terrorists. If I become president, the era of nation-building will be brought to a very swift and decisive end. So one of the things that Trump tried uh, in his speech on Monday was to describe Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, President Barack Obama, as nation builders, saying that this is a, a foolhardy policy and that he would be more realistic and focus on security. Um, but it, it's, a, it's a strange allegation against especially Obama, given that he's been very careful about avoiding uh, large-scale military conflicts, and especially the type that we saw under the Bush administration to try to impose regime change or desired democratic uh, revolutions in places like Iraq and Afghanistan. I was saying this constantly and consistently to whoever would listen. I said, keep the oil, keep the oil, keep the oil. Don't let somebody else get it. He said today that uh, he suggested at the time that the U.S. should have kept Iraq's oil. Uh, he mentioned that it would have been a way to treat wounded soldiers. Uh, but if he wasn't into nation building, it's interesting that he would be into a long-term occupation of Iraq, uh, perhaps you know, forever, given its vast oil reserves, if the United States were to keep the oil, uh, it would require a tremendous military effort. 